view of IgA nephropathy, also called Berger's disease. Some clinical features of IgA nephropathy, its onset is usually spontaneous or several days after an upper respiratory infection. Patients usually have episodic gross hematuria. They can also have flank pain, low-grade fever, and increased blood pressure. Some patients are actually asymptomatic, and they might only have microscopic hematuria on urinalysis. Some labs, you can have urinalysis with protein, blood, and red blood cell casts. You often have normal serum C4 and C3, which helps you differentiate from other kidney disorders. You can also have increased serum creatinine. The diagnosis is usually made clinically. It can be confirmed with kidney biopsy and you'll see mesangial IgA deposition, but this is usually not required. The prognosis is usually pretty good. This often self-resolves. In some patients, it does result in end-stage renal disease, and there are some risk factors for poor prognosis in IgA nephropathy. If patients have really high creatinine, really high blood pressure, and persistent proteinuria, that usually portends a poor prognosis. And if it does happen to end poorly, it's usually a slowly progressive disease that lasts over 10 years.